guys, it's me and I am here with a Christmas video. It's it's here. It is December 26th as I am filming this. And um excuse me in advance. I am really tired, but um you know, I really wanted to open this stuff. So let's let's get right on into it. I'm so super stoked. Um I'm ready. So I'm going to pick the first thing up. I'm not doing them in any particular order. This is the first thing I got. This is the Up and Away outfit by our generation. And this is something that I really wanted for Sasha. So I obviously got it, clearly. Um, I'm really excited for this. I, I'm just, I'm ready. Okay, I've been looking for this in stores for a while. I'm really happy. Um, and I believe it's retailed for... How much? Thirteen dollars? Twelve dollars? You also have to keep in mind that I'm in the United States, so currency changes do apply um, for Canada um, and um, other places that carry our generation um, items. But, um... Yeah, so it's exciting. I'm ready to have this because I was looking for it for a decent amount of time before I managed to get it. Um, and I'm happy that I have it now so that I can put it on Sash. These packages are always insanely hard to open, which is also part of why I decided I was just going to open this one first. And this is the only our generation item that I got, so I figured I'd get that out of the way first as well. Alright you guys, so I finally got it out of the package. It took me like three minutes to do. So here's the main piece of the set, and it's the outfit, and it is so cute. The fabric is so soft on this, like, sweater portion of it, and it's just a beautiful pale pink. I love it so much, and there's the Our Generation little tag right there, and you can see that it's got a Peter Pan collar with really cute little kitties, and the colors are white and a uh, black and like a orange and a mauve color and um they're just really cute I love this and it's made to look like um a like sweater with a skirt but it is actually a dress it is all one piece and I'm completely okay with that I don't mind it um so it's so cute. I love this. And there's Velcro in the back. There's two pieces. There's one towards the top and one towards the bottom. And it's actually no snag Velcro, which is surprising to me, but also really awesome. Like I'll accept no snag Velcro from our generation. Are you kidding? So that's the uh that's the outfit. And it also comes with shoes. Here's what they look like. I am never going to use these. These aren't cute at all. Um, they're like a mauve rubbery looking thing and they're completely molded out of plastic. There is zero detail to them whatsoever minus what is molded on the plastic. Um, it kind of reminds me of a saddle shoe but not quite and then it's tied together with pink ribbon for laces. Um, it's a little flexible, but it doesn't have too much of a give. Um, and then here's the sole. So I'm really not going to use these ever again. Like, I think I might even throw them away because these are just... No. No. It also comes with a pair of glasses. So they are a peach frame with little heart details that are silver. And as you can see through the lenses, the... Um, the arms of the glasses or whatever these are called are a pale blue. Why they're a pale blue? They're like a blue green and why they're that color? I have no idea. It doesn't match with the outfit at all, but I mean, whatever. 
Um, I do not like the fact that the glasses are glittery. To me, it just seems unrealistic. But, I mean, you do you. And the last part of the set is a set of three balloons. The balloons are plastic. I'm trying to isolate them. They're very weird in material though. And they're on um, like a flexible plastic thing for the string. And then they're all tied together with this like confetti type thing at the bottom. One of the balloons is orange, one is that mint green slash pale blue color, and the other is a lavender. Um, and they're really cute. Um, the only downside is there is nowhere for the doll to hold it. Like there isn't like an elastic or something for the dolls to hold, use to hold the balloon. Um, so that kind of sucks, but they are cute. So if you can find a way to have your doll hold them up, um, they're pretty awesome. And the way that they are kind of standing, it kind of makes it look like they're floating. So I do like the balloons. I just think that it would have been better if they'd had like a strap. So that's it for the Up in a Way set. I'm so happy to have that. And I'm so excited to try that on somebody. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to get into the AG brand stuff, and I'm just going to haphazardly grab things. So this is what I grabbed first. So the first thing I got was Penny's hat and necklace, and I'm really happy to have this because this is an awesome mix and match piece, and I'm ready to play with it. So let's go. Let's go play with it. Here's the back of the box as well. Here's the picture. This is Tenny Grant, Sing Your Story. Tenny's oversized hat and guitar pick necklace look great when she's on stage. So now we can open this up. All right, so the first thing that I pulled out is the hat. And oh my goodness, it is so awesome. I can't wait to put this on somebody and like find really cute outfits to put this with so it is a mauve colored felt and it is a hard felt so that it keeps its shape and it has faux leather around the brim of it and it's tied in a little knot and the knot obviously comes out and the ends are made to look like a little fringe. So that's really cute. I really love it. And the inside is just basic and there is a tag on the inside um, that I don't think will be too much of an issue. And if it is, I can just easily snip it. So it's not the end of the world to me. I'm okay with it. This is a really awesome piece and I can't wait to mix and match this. I'm really ready to play with the hat. And the other thing that comes with it is the necklace. And the necklace I'm a little bit less excited for. I mainly wanted it for the hat, but I have some musicians in my family. Cough, Mia. <laughs> so um, somebody will be able to use this, I'm sure. Oh, wow. This is actually kind of cute. So here's what it looks like. We've got a mauve colored string. It's actually a little bit darker than that. that it's coming up on camera in person. Um, but it's like the same kind of color scheme, just a bit darker. And then it has this on the end. It has a rose gold little treble clef. And then it has the guitar pick with a bird on it. And then on the other side of the guitar pick, it says AG with a star. And for some reason, this reminds me of like old time AG, so I really enjoy seeing this. <laughs> but, um... You know, I just think this is really cute. And it does have the, I think it has the adjustable length thing that AJ's been doing lately with all their fabric necklaces. So you can adjust, uh oh, I think I just broke it. <clears throat> um, hold on, <laughs> I'm gonna figure this out. Oh no, I didn't break it, it's okay. So you can adjust the length of Tenny's necklace if you want. You can have it be a choker. You can have it be longer. Oops. 
I just messed it up again, but um, you can get the point. You can adjust the necklace. Um, so right now it's extremely, extremely long. Um, but I look forward to playing with this as well and trying to see if I can find any outfits that I like using this with because I would really hate to see this go unused. Um, but it's cute. So I'm looking forward to playing with that too. <laughs> like managing all my things. All right, this is the next thing I grabbed. So this is, I think, the thing that I'm most excited for, to be entirely honest. It's Tenny's Spotlight outfit. And this is something that obviously was going to become mine because I'm the queen of lace and pink and sparkles. <laughs> so um, I'm ready to open this. Nearly forgot to show you guys the back. So... Um, it says, Tenny Grant in the spotlight. Tenny shines on stage in this lace top, fancy skirt, and glittery boots. Now we can open it. <laughs> Alright, right off the bat, I can tell you that I do not like that I had to cut two things of thread from my outfit um, when it's an AG brand outfit. Um, I'm looking at it and luckily I'm not seeing any indication that there were, there was thread and I think it's just because of this particular top, but regardless, I really am so glad that they're getting rid of that because I don't like it. Um, I shouldn't be paying, how much was that? I think it was like $36 full price for an outfit and have holes in my material. Like that's not okay. It's just not. That's never going to be okay. It never was okay. And I'm just glad that they're going to not do that anymore. Um, but anyway, I'm going to start off with the headband because I, I said so. So <laughs> uh, the actual headband piece is kind of like a dark mauve rose gold actually in a really interesting twist of fate the color showing up on the camera is actually very authentic it's just a little bit darker so the sheen and tone of it is accurate and it's just plastic and it's a flexible plastic so I'm not worried that I am gonna break it or anything um I do feel like it is flimsy so I wouldn't just snap it or anything but um it's not an immediate danger of breaking even if I was just to put it on my doll so that's good um on that we have three little foam stars and they are glittery and sparkly and it's a multicolor glitter um I see pink, I see red, I see green, I think I see a bit of blue. Um, the lighting in my room is also terrible. So there's all kinds of color mixed in with the silver. There's probably some gold in there too. But I am personally not a fan of the headband. I don't think it's cute. It's just not my taste. So don't care for that. The next thing I'm going to show you guys is the boots. Obviously, we get two of them, but I only need to show you one because they look the same. Here's the sole. Oh my god, that's actually really cool. There's a really pretty paisley pattern, and it is kind of textured. Actually, it is textured. It's not kind of te textured. It is textured. It's especially textured on the sides, and it's rubber. That's the coolest part. Like I haven't seen rubber soles from AG in a while. Um, so whenever I see rubber soles, I get really excited because I'm like, oh my god, they're rubber soles. So here they are. And we have some leather on the toe and on the heel. And then we also have leather up on the top along with two little loops. I don't really know what the loops are for, but um, they're for decoration. <laughs> Like my nose is running, I'm so sorry. And then the rest of the boot is literally the same glitter that is on the, yeah, I do see blue, on the headband. So they tie in together. Um, I'm not necessarily a fan of these boots either. I feel like they um, are not something that my dolls would wear. I love the idea of boots and I love this color and I love the shape and everything but I would have preferred that they didn't do glitter because the glitter makes it childish in my opinion. 
Um, so I don't know unless I find a really awesome way to have somebody wear these. I don't think my dolls are going to wear these much either. This definitely isn't going to ever get worn. Um, I would throw it away if it wasn't AG brand. That's how much I dislike it. But if it is AG, it is AG brand, so I'm going to keep it. Um, these I'm obviously not going to throw away because they're boots. Um, but um, not too much of a fan of these either, unfortunately. This is what I picked up next, so that's what we're going with. This is the skirt, and it's so cute. It has an elastic waist. The waist doesn't have much of a give, which is interesting. I'm used to a little bit more of a give from an elastic. I feel like if I pull too hard, I'm going to break some sort of seam. And that's not cool because I, I don't want to break my seam. And that's not okay. But the elastic is a pale pink. It's a blush. Blush is my favorite color, if you can't tell by my surroundings. And my history. <laughs> and you can see it's a very sparkly pink tool with pink glitter and it's just beautiful. I'm so excited for this. I already know who I'm putting this on. I'm ready. And then underneath the layer of tulle, there are two layers of tulle. One has glitter, one doesn't. And then under that is the basic fabric that is a blush pink. And I'm gonna say this is a basic cotton. And it's just plain. It's just the lining of the skirt that goes under the tool so it's not completely and totally see-through. Here's what the back looks like. There's no Velcro. It's only elastic. This is so cute though. I'm so excited to put this on my dolls. I'm bummed though because coming out of the packaging, mine kind of looks like it's been crinkled in a weird way. So I'm going to have to like fix that. I think I just did actually. Oh, uh, not quite. I'm going to have to play around with my tool and stuff because there's like a weird crease or two in mine so I'm gonna have to play around with it and try to get it to stretch and pop back into shape but it's so far pretty decent I love this if you haven't gotten this already which you probably have because it's been out for a while if you haven't definitely do because it's awesome and now I'm looking down at my laptop and <laughs> there is glitter everywhere so um, now there's gonna be a PSA that this sheds glitter and if you don't like shedding glitter don't get it but if you don't care Go for it, because it's awesome. All right, here's the last piece, and I'm so excited about this to mix and match with, because I've seen this on like a grungy look, and I'm obsessed with it. So this is the lace top, and I'm so excited because I am the lace queen. Pink and lace are my middle name, and um, this is just awesome. So it's just a basic white lace. It's beautiful. Mine is creased. You guys can see that. I don't like the fact that mine is creased, but it's an easy fix. I'll just iron it or something. Um, I'll be careful. Mine has a giant snag in it. Are you kidding me? Can you guys see that? Yes, you can. Look at that snag. I just took it out of the box. You guys just saw me take it out of the box. There is no excuse as to why my lace is snagged. And if I hadn't bought this such a long time ago to hold until the holidays, I would be exchanging it. But I don't think I have the receipt anymore. Actually, it's not even that I don't think. It's that I don't have the receipt anymore. So I'm going to just have to very carefully trim that extra fuzz off. Um, so you guys definitely be careful with this top because that is not okay. I was really happy up until I saw that. I would have exchanged it had I still had the receipt. But I just fixed it myself for the most part. See? There's still a little bit, but I can trim the fine little pieces off later but like yeah they pretty much fixed it it was an easy fix but you guys like that's not okay for a brand new top mm -mm. are there any more like now I'm like is there more like is that the only one 
luckily it looks like that was the only one. The rest of the lace seems to be pretty intact, but literally it was smack in the middle of my shirt, which is not okay. So I'm glad that I managed to fix that and make that look decent because now if you're looking at it, you can't really see a difference unless you're looking for it. Um, so yeah, make sure you look yours over. Um, anyway, so it's just a basic white lace. There is a white piece of fabric underneath the torso bit of it. It is stitched, so I can't show you the difference. Um, so basically they made it like a tank top and then they had the sleeves be hollow and I believe these are going to go to about like here on your doll. So that's a cute length. And then it's kind of a boat neck in a way, not too wide though. It's a pretty wide neck and there's really pretty lace here. It's just really gorgeous. And this is something that's really awesome to mix and match. And it's not too overstated either. So this could be worn casually. It does look like there's a little bit of silver in it almost. Let's see if I can get my computer to focus. Cause yes, I do film on my computer. I really need to like figure out how to upgrade my equipment, but that's not my first concern right now cause I'm chronically ill. Anyway, let's see. Yeah, you can kind of see it. It looks almost silvery on the trim by my fingers and down there. So you can kind of see where I get the silver idea from. It's not quite silver though. It almost looks like it is though, so I don't really know. There we go. You can kind of see what I'm talking about. So I don't know, but it's really pretty. It's so understated, but it's beautiful. I love this top. I'm so excited. Um, so yeah, this top is awesome and I'm really excited to finally have this too to play around with. I've been wanting to play around with this outfit for a very long time and now I finally can. So that's, well, I'm looking forward to playing with that. So I'm gonna move everything out of the way again. Okay, so this is what I'm picking up next, I guess. This is the last outfit of the day. I guess I opened every outfit first and then I'm gonna go to the accessory sets. <laughs> um, so here is Tenny's picnic outfit. This is the other thing that I got. It says, Tenny Grant, lyrics and sunshine, chambray shirt and crocheted shorts are perfect for a picnic. So let's get this open. I'm happy to say that this particular outfit didn't have any material, any thread, you know, holding it in place. So the Tony's picnic outfit is safe, or at least mine was. I don't know if everybody's was. Anyway, so here's the shirt. This material is very thin and it's not particularly soft, but I'm not surprised because that's just AG nowadays. But it's a very pretty blue. It's kind of a pale jean. It reminds me in color of Sage's riding outfit jeans. Like it's literally that kind of slate blue color of that. The sleeves are rolled up. So they go down to about elbows, I would say. And there are little white buttons. I do not believe they are functional. Yeah, they're not. It's Velcro, so no functioning buttons. But again, I'm not surprised about that either because that's just how AG is now. It's disappointing, but it's true. There's a tiny little blue American Girl tag down here. And there's a little pocket and there is really pretty white embroidered detail and it reminds me of lace. It is so gorgeous. And I love the, I believe that's princess stitching. I'm not positive because I'm not very good at that, but stitching looks really nice on this. The back is completely plain. And obviously, as you guys can see, there's a bit of a collar. And the way that it's open, it's like a relaxed button up. It's not like, you know, button up to here and, you know, super strict thing. It's like, it's relaxed, you know, it's a, it's a chill shirt. So this is a really nice piece. I'm excited to mix and match this as well. Hoping I can find some really cute ways to go about playing with this. 
This is gonna be fun. My sleeve is a bit messed up as well. So that's going to take some playing with, I'm hoping, and it'll go away once I put it on a doll. But if it doesn't, I'll have to iron it and that will suck. But um, yeah. The next thing is this pair of shorts. They are white crochet and these are gorgeous. I cannot tell you how much I adore these. These are just beautiful. Um, the, the texture, the color, everything, it's just gorgeous. Um, obviously, as you can see, there is a belt and it is the same mauve colored braided style as the hat that is meant to go with this set that I opened earlier. It's actually right here. I'll bring it over. This hat, it's not the same material clearly, but it's the same concept. I'm so sorry you can hear my phone buzzing. It's underneath all the trash and I can't go dig it out now. Um, so it's just beautiful. There are belt loops on the front for the belt. The belt is unfortunately stitched on, so um, you're kind of stuck um, with it unless you decide that you would cut it off. Um, I don't know if I would do that or not, but we'll see. Um, there's a little white American Girl tag on the butt of the shorts. It's very little and it's kind of hidden, so it's out of sight. It's really nice, obviously. There is a underlay of fabric so that it's not completely see-through. <laughs> you can see my finger. And there is Velcro in the front. This is just a really nice pair of shorts, and I'm looking forward to playing around with this as well, and mixing and matching and playing and everything. It's gonna be really fun. Um, these would look really great on Mia, I think. I would really enjoy playing with these on Mia. So we'll see. We'll see who gets what when I go to dress everybody. But that's that. And the last part are the shoes. And they are really cute, tiny Oxfords. I love them. Oxfords are a shoe that I really actually love for my dolls because they are kind of more... Uh, what's the word that I'm thinking of? Mm, not, like, I don't know. I don't remember. The, I don't know the word I'm thinking of. Wow. That was, that was fun. But um, here is one because they're both the same. Here's what they look like. Hold on. It was my mom who was blowing me up. Anyway, here's the shoe. So it is the all the same color. The different detailing is completely, you know, the same color as the toe part of the shoe. The sole is a little bit darker. It's plastic. And there is a faint little velvet, um, what color is this? Mauve. Lacing and bow. It's really cute. I really love this and I'm excited to play around with these as well. Basically, I wanted all these for their pieces because they're really awesome. <laughs> but anyway, there's the shoes. Okay. So the next thing that I got is Teddy's banjo. So, um... I don't really know anything about banjos. I'm sure they're in a lot of country songs, which is probably why Tenny has one. Um, but I actually am going to be entirely honest with you guys. I only wanted the strap. <laughs> I wanted the strap for Mia's guitar. But um, I'm sure that having a banjo in my collection will help Mia make some awesome songs. She's got some country songs, so, you know. On the back, it says Tenny Grant making music. Tenny can hold her banjo and pick, push the button to play three songs. So I'm excited to look at this and get it open. So let's go. All right, so we have a manual here. I don't really know what it's for. Oh, it's talking about the batteries. 
batteries are probably not included, right? Yeah, battery's not included. So I'm going to have to go get some batteries. Oh, yeah, it says it right there. Not included. <laughs> I'm stupid. Okay, so basically it's just telling me how to unscrew the battery. Um, to put the batteries in, which I've been doing for a long time, so I don't need help on that. Anyway, so the first thing I've got here is the Banjo Pick. Um, I didn't even realize before Tenny came out that Banjo's had picks and I'm not particularly excited by this one it is a coral color and it is very tiny and there is a tiny hole whoopsie there's a tiny hole for her finger to go into that you guys can see my hand is not even near it I am failing I'm sorry um the plastic doesn't even look finished you can literally see a line. I don't know if it's just mine or if it's everyone's, but that kind of sucks. It's literally flat. I think there's a very, very subtle glitter sparkle inside the plastic, but you have to look really closely to see it. So this is disappointing, and it looks like something that you would just throw away, to be honest. Like... Come on now, E.G. Seriously. Now here's the main piece, obviously, and that is the banjo. So the banjo, I'm going to first take this off. We'll do this last. The banjo looks like this. There is a rose decal on the top here. There's little dials that, can we turn the dials? It actually doesn't look like I can turn the dial. Oh, yes, I can. This one's just stuck, I guess. There we go. Yeah, so you can actually turn the dials and pretend to tune your banjo. There are how many strings? One, two, three, four, five. There are five strings on the banjo. There's another rose decal on the bottom that's actually kind of lacy. It's awesome. And there's the side of the banjo. And you can also see that there are... Oh, that's, that's the peg for... Um, the strap. This is the button that you press in order to hear the songs. On the back, you see that's where you put the batteries in, and that is the switch, the on and off switch. It's currently off. Sooner or later, it will be on. Looks like there are some studs on the side as well that are, they're clear, actually. Just supposed to be like gems or rhinestones or something. And, um, is this like another, this is another dial for something. I don't know how a banjo operates. I don't know anything about banjos, like I said, so I'm going to have to learn. <laughs> um, so here's the other peg. So there's a peg on the bottom for the strap, and then there's a peg up here for the strap. Um, so literally, I'll flip it this way. Here and here are your pegs. It doesn't give you a lot of room. And then there's this entire thing. So I kind of wish it was like the, the um, guitar from AG, like not Tenny's, but the other one. And I think there was one like closer to like here. I'll have to like look at it. But I wish it was more up here. Like here, for instance. Um, and do that. But... That's not, so that's okay. I'll get over it. Um, I really wanted this. So this is the strap. It's very basic. I probably could have made my own. I probably should have made my own, but I didn't. And it is a very shiny rose gold metallic strap. It's very basic. It's kind of leathery. And then obviously there's hooks on either side to strap it to things and like Tenny's um, guitar strap and the AG guitar strap like the truly me one um, you should be able to interchange this with any of them so quick tutorial this little loop and this little piece you stick it on like that and then you pull so that the thing is in the loop 
And then you take the other end of the strap and the other peg and you do the same thing. So you just go like that and you pull so that it's latched. And then you have the strap on your banjo or whatever it is that you want to put the strap on because they all work the same way. Um, but yeah, so now I'm going to go get some batteries and unscrew this and get it all situated. Be right back. Alright you guys, so I got the batteries in and we're ready to rock and roll. Oh, I should flip it this way. I'm ready to rock and roll. Okay, so here we go. Oh, <laughs> I forgot to turn the battery on. We forgot to turn it on. Okay, we're ready to rock now. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Wow, these are actually like full songs. Okay, so that's one. I think it said there are three. All right, we got one more. All right, so that is our banjo. I'm going to turn it off because I don't want to waste the batteries. Um, oh my god, it looks like there are tiny little silver detail roses in here. That's incredible. My camera's not going to pick that up. That's just awesome, you guys. This is really cute. So if you are a country fan, or you're a Tunny fan, or you're a fan of roses and pink, <laughs> um, or if your doll is a musician, anything like that, then definitely pick this up because it's really cute. Um, and it actually plays songs. I also forgot to mention, because I just noticed this actually, that there is a plug, and this plugs into Tunny's amp if you have her dressing room and stage set, which I don't, so this is kind of useless to me. But that's okay. So there's the banjo. Where did the pick go? I nearly lost it. That's how little it is, you guys. Like, it's tiny. It's probably only a little bit bigger than my fingernail. Actually, it is only a little bit bigger than my fingernail. So literally, you just go... Kind of like you would with a guitar pick on a guitar. Oopsie. Um, so yeah. And the last thing that I got is this. I got Tenny's picnic set. Excuse me. And I'm really excited for this. But I actually got two. And the reason that I got two is because if you look at the cover, 
there's only one of everything and that bothered the living crap out of me. Um, there's only one piece of watermelon, one set of chicken, one drink, one thing. Like there's only enough and one fork. Like there's only one enough for enough for one of ev of everything for like one person to eat. So I ended up getting two, and that's the only downfall of this set. So I think originally it retails for twenty eight, but since I had to get two, I paid fifty six, which is insane. Um. Well, technically, I didn't pay anything because they were Christmas presents, but you get the point. Anyway, so I'm going to open these now, and I will give you a closer look at this. All right, so this is the one that I opened. I actually technically also opened the other one, but I'm not going to get into that because they are literally the same exact thing. So this is, okay, so there's a silica gel in there. You gotta be careful because you don't want your animal if you have a pet to get into that. But anywho, so I guess the first thing that we're going to look at is the Georgia's Hot Chicken box. And Henny's mom runs a uh, food truck, I think, if I'm remembering correctly. I forgot to look at the back. Um, so we'll look at the back of the box as well. Tenny Grant, A Taste of Tennessee. Tenny loves her mom's hot chicken. It's Nashville's specialty. So I don't know. I haven't read Tenny's books. Part of me wants to because I want to see if I can do any research on char Logan's character. Out of character. Like, just out of curiosity. But, like, I don't know. I think her mom has a food truck. So her mom has a Georgia's hot chicken truck. And here is the container that the food comes in. It's in like a cardboard paper thing. It says made in China on the bottom. <laughs> and there is a little hole for your doll to hold it. So that's nice. And there's two little holders so you can put all your food in it and you can just take it with you and carry it around. You also have a menu that says Georgia's Hot Chicken on it. Here's the back, it says Nashville's best. And then when you open it up, you can see some different types of things that you can get at her mom's food truck or restaurant, whichever it is. You can get some chicken, you can get some spice for your chicken, you can get sides and drinks. There is also a little tray that is classic for little restaurant companies. And it is the classic red gingham. And it's just, you know, open for you to put stuff in. Now, here is the first piece of food. Oopsie. This is like a hot chicken sandwich type thing because there's a piece of bread underneath. And as you can see, it's got all kinds of buffalo sauce and there's some pickles on top. And it looks like that's a leg or a thigh. I don't know if there is a thigh, but if it's not a thigh, it's a leg. Um, so that's kind of cool. And I think this is what goes into this, which is why I opened it. So it goes like that. It looks really nice, actually. This is really cute. I'm excited to play with these. The next piece of food that I have here is a sweet tea in a mason jar. And this is the cutest thing ever. I love this. You can see it has like a texture so it has like ice in it. And there's even like a little lemon wedge. It's just adorable. The glare from my computer is not helping anything. And I'm sorry about that. But it's so cute. Look at the texture of it. It's precious. I love this. And the lid is like a bronzy gold color. And there's a little straw sticking out of it. It's just adorable. So you get one of those. And then you also get some, oopsie, some potato salad. So it says George's Hot Chicken. And you get potato salad and it has a little piece of parsley painted on the top 
and it actually is texture. And it looks like there's some like um, Old Bay or something sprinkled on top. And then you also get a little chunk of watermelon. So the Ryan is painted on the little back and it looks so cute and so realistic. I love it. And then you have the watermelon and it's got black seeds painted onto it and it is textured. Now I want real watermelon. I don't have any. I'm so upset about that now because I want watermelon. But it's like a little triangular pyramid of watermelon that your doll can eat. And it looks really tasty. Warning! This actually may want you to make you want to eat real watermelon, but you probably won't have any. Holy crap. I literally just realized that. I really hope that doesn't trigger anybody. I'll be right back. I heard the doorbell ring. We're expecting dinner. Anyway, I can get mine in a minute when I'm done with this because I'm close. The next thing in the set is a cloth napkin that is in an unnecessarily huge, long tube. There we go. So the napkin is a pale blue. And it's just a basic fabric. It's nothing soft. It's actually kind of thin. It's coarse. But it's nice for a napkin. It's really nice. You could do lots of different things with this. You could have different restaurant setups with this if you want. Just a basic napkin. There isn't even a tag on it, which I'm shocked about. But, you know, it's okay. If there's no tag on it, I accept it. By the way, before anyone gets worried about this, because I know people are, I'm just going to say it's from an IV, because it is from an IV. Um, so don't worry about it. It's fine. I just got some fluids because I was dehydrated. It's no big deal. Now I just have a bruise. Anyway, the, you, the last, oh wait, no, it's not the last. The next piece in the set is a fork. It's just a basic silver fork, you know, to eat your food with. You can use it to eat your um, what's this called? Potato salad. You can use it to eat your watermelon if you want. You can use it to eat this. So you can use your fork to eat this or any other things that you may want to use the fork to eat with. Um, you have a fork and I'm trying to, I don't have any nails. That's part of the issue. I believe this is metal. Yeah, let's actually open the other fork and bang it against that fork and I will be able to tell you if it was metal or not. Or if it is metal or not. It sounds like metal to me. It's metal! So you do get a fork. You only get one though. I bought two, as you guys saw. So you only get one with your set. The last thing that you get... There's a bunch of thread on that for some reason. <laughs> the last thing that you get in the set is the picnic blanket. And it looks like this. There is a floral print on one side that has um, pink and orange and white flowers. And it's on a navy blue background. And on the other side... You have a classic red gingham print, so it is reversible. The tag is on this side, though, so you're probably more inclined to use this side if you don't want to see the tag. Or you could just cut the tag off. That's also doable. Um, but you have the picnic blanket that is dual-sided. And there is a handle on it, as you can see, and then there are two sets of ties because what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to flatten it like this, like fold it in half. And then you roll it up. I didn't really roll it up, but um, I kind of did. And then you take your ties and you tie them around the blanket to keep it from unfolding, obviously. So you fold one side, 
and then you fold you do the other side and you tie it because there are two ties one for each side and then you have the handle and then your doll can carry the blanket to their picnic destination. I'm like trying to fix it, there we go. You can, your doll can carry it to the picnic destination where they can then untie it and unfurl it and use it and have a nice picnic. And then they can roll it back up and use it to carry home. And it also makes it easier to store as well. So that's nice. However, since I do have two of these, I now have two picnic blankets. Um, so one of these will probably be resold or given to a friend. Um, I haven't decided what I want to do yet. Um, but obviously the rest of it's going to stay with me because I need the extra storage for all my extra food. But I will, something just fell, but I will show you guys that almost all the food can fit in one tray. Assuming that, you know, you have only one set. So you can stick the chicken in there. You can stick the fork in there as well. Your fruit, your, not your fruit salad, your potato salad, your drink, like that. You can stick your menu in, I guess we're gonna stick it on the side. And your napkin can go right here. And your um, watermelon, I'm actually going to stick the fork on this side because it's less likely to fall. And then your watermelon can sit here. So all your food can fit in... I think my phone's ringing. The carrying case. Hold on a second, guys. Guys, sorry about that. Um, uh, my friend called me on FaceTime and then when I went back to film, apparently my movie didn't save any of it, so guess who has to refilm the entire thing? me. Anyway, um, luckily I didn't change any of the girls um, out of what I put them in, so we're going to start over. Here's Miss Mia. She's wearing the sparkling performance outfit. Oh, wait, no, that's not what this is. This is the spotlight outfit. I always get them mixed up. This is the spotlight outfit that <laughs> Mia's wearing, and she's got the banjo, and um, it's really cute on her. I really like it. Um, the, she doesn't really like holding the banjo very well. You can position it, but you basically kind of just can't move her or else she and or the banjo will fall. And that's obviously something that you don't want. But she has the pick on her finger. As you can see, I kind of just stuck it on her finger. There goes the banjo. And you can kind of tilt it to your needs for when she's playing the banjo. Do, 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 do. Kind of looks like she's doing it a little bit. And yeah, so this is something I probably will never use. Um, although the, the coral matches the rose on the banjo, which is nice. The pink is overwhelming today because I'm actually wearing pink and so is Mia, but you know, it's okay. So here's what it looks like on. And I'll take the banjo off to show you what it looks like as the outfit. So I currently have the headband band in her hair. And believe it or not, once I put the headband on, I actually found that I prefer the outfit with it rather than without it. So that was surprising to me. It looks really nice on her. This outfit is just beautiful on her. Um, I put the shirt on and it kind of fixed itself with the little crease it had. So that was good. Um, and the skirt also kind of fixed itself up. Um, so that's good as well. The shoes, I really do wish weren't made with the glitter like this because I feel like I would be able to use them more if they were just a solid color or even if they were a two-tone and it was more casual, but this is just too much. And I don't know. I'll have to see if I can find a way to properly mix and match those with something that I like so I can use them some. 
and I just uh, discovered that when I put the um, shirt on that it is actually a bit of a crop top so the doll's crotch is about here and here is about where their underwear would be I believe yeah about there so it's a bit of a crop top but it's okay cuz I like it. it's a longer crop top so it's something that you wouldn't really notice it's just a really pretty top. I really wish that this came down a bit some though, because it doesn't look quite right the way it's laying. I'm kind of fixing it a little bit. And actually, now that I'm looking at it again, I do see more fuzzies on here from where it was snagged. So I am very, very unhappy about the fact that this snagged. Um, if yours is snagged, absolutely do not hesitate to go back to AG and complain about it. I'm trying to find my scissors so I can trim it some more. I'll do that at a later time though. I won't make you guys sit through that. No hope, don't 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 touch the scissors. My dog is in here and I don't want her eating the sharp scissors. I'm gonna take this off though because I could not get the hat from Tenny's collection on anybody and it's gonna go on Mia. So she's going to model it. This hat is really lovely. I'm really excited to mix and match this with some really lovely pieces. I think I have some outfits in mind already that I would love to pair this with. And um, I just need to get the pieces for them because I don't own them yet. Oops. But, you know, it's it's okay. It's copacetic. We're awesome. And uh, it's, just, it's just a really nice hat. And you can kind of mix and match the way that the hat lays on the doll as well. So you can kind of have it be more of a sideways hat you can have it be a bit more of a you know like that you could have it be this way I think I like it best this way personally but um I think it's a really awesome piece and it looks like it's kind of lopsided on my camera and that's because I put it on lopsided of course now she has hat hair which is something that no one likes but okay now it's on correctly but anyway, yeah, it looks really nice. I enjoy the hat, and I can't wait to be doing some mixing and matching with that. So I'm going to lay Mia over here. And next, I'm going to bring over Miss Elizabeth, who is wearing the glasses from the other outfit, because I couldn't get them on Sasha's face. The Up and Away outfit. I'm literally just showing them so that you guys can see what they look like on. Otherwise, I'm taking them off, because I don't like the way they look at all. But Elizabeth looks really incredible in this outfit. Um, she looks like she was made for it. The color brings out her eyes and it's just, it's beautiful. I did end up tucking the belt into the pants like that because I thought it looked better. I originally tied it in a bow, but it was kind of being weird and poking this out funny. So I ultimately decided that it would be it look, would look better if I tucked it in because you can't see it from the back anyway. And I was right. It looks really, really good. Here are the shoes. Ooh. I don't know if you guys heard that, but my wrist cracked like really loudly. I also have the picnic blanket so you guys can see that the doll can in fact hold it and she can carry it and take it with her whenever they're going on a picnic and we come back to this the food can also be carried by the doll it's a bit difficult however to have it be a realistic hold and not have her drop it because this putting the thumb through there alone is not sturdy enough. If you put one your hand through like this, it's much more sturdy. It looks a bit more realistic, but it's still not quite sturdy enough for you to just actually. I take it back. She's holding it by herself. Oh, that is 
awesome. Okay, Elizabeth's holding this by herself. That's pretty cool. So Elizabeth can hold the chicken and her meal and she can hold her picnic blanket that she's going to eat said meal on and she's going to go um, for a picnic. She, this is awesome, okay? I didn't know that I could actually get her to hold this because I couldn't do it last time around. But this is really exciting. Okay, I'm happy now. <laughs> Oh no, she dropped it. There you go. Boom. Elizabeth's gonna go have a picnic now by herself because, oh, she just dropped the food, but that's okay. I tilted her weird. She wouldn't have dropped it if I hadn't dropped her weird. But, or tilted her weird, I meant to say. But, um, you know, it's pretty awesome. It's pretty awesome. I really like it. I like the fact that the doll can hold it. The way that this all kind of fits together is adorable. I love it to pieces. So that was a good buy as well. And trying to fix this before I bring her over. There we go. I fixed it. Come here, Miss Sasha. Sasha is wearing this outfit. And Tenny's necklace. So I did adjust it so that it's... Um, as short as it can go really so that it looks like that because I think it's really pretty however when it's fully extended it literally goes down to about here it's like extremely extremely long on the doll the charm is laid like right here so it's much better when you kind of move it up so that it lays in a much nicer more appropriate place for a necklace to lay um, she's also currently wearing Grace's bracelet I didn't get that for Christmas so you can just ignore that However, she looks incredible in this outfit. And I also have the balloons here. Oopsie. There we go. I fixed it. They were kind of crooked. So you can have them hold it like this, but it doesn't really stay. And you can also kind of stick it like that and hold it there for them, but they can't actually hold it. So that's the downside. But here's the size of the balloons with the out with the doll, and it looks really realistic and it just looks really awesome. I love how the balloons can be moved like that, and it literally looks like they're floating in the air. It looks natural, so I think that's really awesome. Now, I did throw out the shoes because I put them on and they looked terrible they looked cheap and I would have put them back on for display for the video but I already got rid of them since I thought I filmed this days ago so she's currently wearing a pair of AG brand shoes these are from Josefina's collection from her fiesta outfit I believe or her festival outfit I'll put it like down in case you're wondering but it, they look really good with this outfit. And this outfit looks really great on Sasha. It lays really nicely. Um, the fabric isn't see-through. So I give this outfit an A+. It's really awesome. I really like it. And it looks so good on her. And it's totally suiting her. So I'm really excited to have this for Sasha. Guys, that is the end of my Christmas haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. What was your favorite thing that I got on Christmas? Um, if I had to pick, God, I, I don't know. It would be really hard. It would probably be between the Tenny's performance outfit, Tenny's hat and necklace set, and the Our Generation um, outfit, the Up and Away outfit that Sasha was wearing. Um, but anyway, thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed. And if you celebrate, I hope you had a very Merry Christmas and you had a lot of fun with your family members and your loved ones. And that you got some nice stuff for the holiday. And if you don't celebrate, I still hope you had a nice day. And um, I love you guys. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Hey, guys. So 
I am just adding this on as a bit of an after thing just because I don't know if you may or may not know but I am currently extremely chronically ill and filming this video obviously took a lot out of me and I just wanted to show you guys what was left of me when I was done filming my Christmas haul so this is currently where I'm at I'm exhausted like completely out of nowhere I did have to take pain medicine so that's also probably part of it but I am white I'm so tired and I have zero energy left to clean up the aftermath of said video like this is currently what I've got going on. That's also my dinner right there, so ignore that. And that's my laptop under my legs. So I'm in no way complaining because I'm incredibly blessed to have gotten nice things for Christmas. But the reality is, the second the camera turns off, this is usually what happens. I'm usually exhausted, I usually can't move, and I usually just don't have any energy to clean any of this up. So, um, it sucks. And also, since I'm probably going to get asked about it, I have chronic Lyme disease, um, depression, anxiety, and a bunch of other things that we don't really have names for, and that probably sounds really terrible, but um, it's the truth, and I just have a lot of problems with my body and with my mental health, and... Um, as much as I love filming and as much as I love giving myself to you guys in this way, my body doesn't. So, reality of chronic illness.